Howdy all folks, this is Sami from NZ Ferrum and I'm here as your guide to go through track by track of the new album Thalassic. The first song of the album, after the intro, is something called Rum Women Victory. Music-wise, this song We've been working with this for many, many years. It was just, again, one of those Mahi's crazy ideas. Like, yeah, we have this kind of very folk metalish melody. But then he added another gear, so it became like turbo fast version. Well, you'll hear it. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Live song. And uh, lyric-wise, as a theme of the album, is something related to sea and lakes and water in general. It has this nice kind of heroic feeling but also, I, I got this feeling of like making a drinking song. So I started going through like uh, myths and legends and history also. What really caught my eye was the, the Royal Navy, the British Royal Navy, and how they used to get their daily dose of rum. And then I started pondering this kind of life, what it would have been on these ships and living on the sea and with their brothers. And of course, there's the, the daily rum thing. And of course, when you go to port, you, I guess, the guys tend to have fun, so... <laughs> The song called Andromeda. It was interesting for me to go through all the, the myths and legends and I came uh, up with um, the legend of Princess Andromeda who eventually became the queen of Persian people and uh, yeah how she is related here is that uh, her father almost sacrificed her for the sea monster to the sea monster and then I as a geek I love astronomy and there's the Andromeda galaxy as you other fellow geeks might know. <laughs> so uh, in the lyrics, it says like, she will live forever, because that was also why the, the galaxy was named apparently with her name, that now she's in the sky forever guarding her people. Music wise, it was kind of easy to compose. I think I, I came up with the, the raw version of the chorus melody and Marcus pretty fast came up with the, the verse and uh, he had like ideas for the C parts. And this actually was built without that much effort. It's one of my favorite songs on the album. And uh, it also introduces uh, the awesome vocals of uh, our new keyboard player slash clean vocalist Pekka. Very kind of Enzi Ferrumish, traditional Enzi Ferrumish song on the new album is something called The Defense of the Sampo. This is about uh, a story in uh, our national book Kalevala, where uh, Vainamoinen, the, the main dude, and his troops go all the way to the far north uh, to steal back something called Magical Sampo. And on their way back, they have a massive sea a battle with the Witch of the North and her troops. There's a very beautiful legendary painting of this and uh, that was well quite obviously uh, also the the influence for the the album cover itself yeah so this one has like a kind of our trademark big massive uh, sing-along chorus very heroic atmosphere and uh, i'm sure this will be a good live song The next track I want to introduce you is uh, Run From The Crushing Tide. I did say a bit power metal-ish here. It's, it's quite a fast song. Mahi had these great power metal ideas and of course we love those. Lyrically wise this was uh, usually with Mahi a bit about uh, what's his idea when he writes stuff, uh, each melody or whatever. And in this one there's like very, what's the word? Well kind of passionate and there's like kind of feel of hurry also. You can feel it. it's so fast paced song. And uh, again, I started digging like myths and legends. And uh, this is something I actually didn't find from internet, but I, I heard it that there was a French legend. There's a legend of a, of a young boy and a girl who fell in love and they lived on a separate island. And they could only meet between the islands when the tide was low. And uh, I just thought that's 
That's really cool. Very beautiful. Romantic, even, one might say. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, in this story, the, the, the kind of the cliche thing, the, the girl's dad uh, is not really up to this. And so he uses powers to send this guy away. And I guess he still comes back. And then he kind of makes the, the dad makes some kind of deal with demons. And, and then the lovers are crushed under the tide and uh, the islands were separated forever. I think it was just a really cool story, and uh, yeah, that's what the song is about. I like it a lot. So the next song I'm gonna introduce you to is uh, something called For Sirens, and it's not For Sirens, woo woo woo! It's about uh, the Greek mythology when Odysseus, the legend that uh, there were the sirens, the beautiful ladies on the coast, wherever, and uh, who lured sailors to the rocks and to their demise. But Odysseus wanted to, he told his men to tie him to the, the ship because he wanted to hear the, uh, the sirens singing and their call and uh, this song um, there's very it kind of push forward all the time there's like good feeling it's there's anxiety in the song so it kind of fit the theme very well that there's somebody who's actually tied in the the sheep like I let me fucking go yeah of course you can find um, a lot of metaphors to like human life and addictions in, in this song also and uh, the original idea is absolutely in the the legend of Odysseus and the sirens. Enjoy! And then the, I can't say ballad of this album, but um, the slow song called One with the Sea. This is also a song that we've been working years working years to get this ready. Uh, Markus, who mainly wrote this, he had the idea of kind of how the vocals would be. And now it was uh, the perfect time to do it because, yeah, Markus had the idea of clean vocals, have a good male vocals there. And uh, luckily we finished the song and now that we also have a new singer in the band who can sing it very, very well. There's a really oppressive atmosphere. <laughs> uh, and the lyrics uh, were inspired uh, I read an article about the, how our dear planet Earth uh, would have been frozen a few times in the history, like completely, like a ball of ice. And in this article it said it might happen again. And then I just started thinking about this kind of scenario and uh, yeah, the last man on Earth, frozen void around him. And that could be quite depressing. It, it's a really beautiful song in a sad way. How could we And to get some contrast on the album from the, the lowest depression of being the last man on the earth, woo, we go to the, the party of the midsummer, or Johannes as we call it in Finland, with a song called Midsummer Magic. Well, it is obviously the drinking song, you know, sing along, schlager song of the album. In Finland, I guess other cultures have the same kind of traditions or magic, yeah, that you do in a certain. Well, people who lived in the past did like who were superstitious, what they did like in certain time of the year and to get a good crop for the next year or to find love and you get the idea. One of uh, the legends in Finnish mythology is that uh, if you look in the lake in midsummer, you could see the reflection of your future bride or groom. So that's where the, the, the lyrics kind of came and I started reading more about it. Of course, I knew a bit about it in the first place, but um, yeah, this song is about gathering together with friends and getting wasted and just drinking until the morning and uh, may your hangover will be gone before the winter comes so <laughs> that's the goal Once again, it's the time of the year. The 
magnum epos of that. <laughs> the epic of the, of the album called Cold Northland, which kind of ends the trilogy that ends from started on the first album because there's uh, two songs that has well, Old Man and Little Dreamer. They are part of Vainamoinen Saga. And uh, it's the longest song of the album. And uh, it was quite early when Mahi came up with the melodies. He was like, Samike, because there's so much similarities atmosphere-wise and uh, maybe also like uh, tonally, music, musically-wise, uh, with uh, the old man songs. Uh, could you make the lyrics so they fit the, the same theme? I was like, absolutely, but this will be the last one. He said, okay, that's okay. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bit, not too much progressive song. Yeah, the lyrics tell about the, the last poem of Kalevala, our national book, where Vainamen leaves the shores of Finland. Uh, of course, people who uh, research history and uh, literature say that this refers to Christianity coming to Finland and the old pagan beliefs leaving the shores. But Vainamen says in the, in the poem that he'll be back when he's needed. So that's how we end this song also, that we didn't give up <laughs> for the invaders. Audio folks, press that like button, share with your friends and subscribe.